Hola amigos, this is Level 12 and today we are going to be asking ourselves, is face canon? Now, I actually got super excited to do this video the more I did the research, which is kind of rare. It's usually I'm super excited to do a video, but then I get bogged down with research. But I actually enjoyed the entire process of doing this video and it's the first theory I actually feel like I've, I've done pretty well in. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So, first, some of you may be asking, what is face? Well, face is the fanon belief that France, America, Canada, and England are like a family, known as the face family. Generally, it's accepted that America and Canada are the children and the parents are France and England. I'm, I'm looking at a lot of things right now, so I'm, if I talk slow, it's because I want to make sure what I'm saying is correct and I don't have to backtrack too much. So, it's a fanon belief. It's not well, we're gonna find out if it's canon, but it's a really cute idea and I'm pretty sure this picture was my wallpaper for a while because it's just super adorable and I feel like it represents the face family super well. As you can see, France uh, France and England are the parents and America and Canada are the two little children just enjoying the pancakes and stuff. So I thought the best way to determine if this was canon was to determine the canon relationships and see how the family works out that way. So the two relationships I want to determine first are the brotherhood between America and Canada. Now while one could say it's super easy to determine, they look similar, they act similar, they're even stated to be brothers in canon, I wanted to find some kind of evidence to show you guys that yes, these guys are brothers, they're not just saying they're brothers like in a very friendly, brotherly manner, kind of how an older nation will look after a younger nation, they're brothers even though it's more of a, an adoptive relationship. So as you can see in these comics that I found, um, Canada is just going back in his life and he's just like, I wonder why, oh, nah, let's not do the accent for Canada. I can't do a Canadian accent. I wonder why everybody says I don't stand out. Maple syrup and stuff is great to eat though. Everyone used to dote on me so much when I was a child. Oh god, I'm, I can't do accents, I'm sorry. Hey Canada, I'm talking, I'm taking you to meet your brother today. M my brother? What is he like? Hmm, how to put it? He's a bit rough around the edges, but I think you'll like him. Oh, I hope my brother will get along. And as you can see, they're continuing and America's like, Oh, your face is just like mine and Canada's all embarrassed and I'm the British province of Canada, so um, I'm your... Yeah, so as you can see, it's a very brotherly way. And then Canada ask, is asking England, hey, which one of us is the older brother? And then England's like, whoever learned the alphabet first. So that, that's um, Canada, obviously. So as you can see, they, they're brothers, they're loving brothers. Um, they're not twins because it, Canada's older because he learned the alphabet first. And it, it's, they're brothers. That was probably the easiest one to do. So next we have to determine the relationships of parentage and I thought first it would be best to start with England because, I don't know, I thought it would be easier in my head to do the research, which it was after I learned where to look. So the easiest route to take would be determining is England America's parent and as you can see, these the first thing you can see is just screenshots from that episode. From this day on, you're, you're my little brother. Okay, can I call you big bro? or bro. Me? Bro? And obviously you can see it's um, one would think, oh they're brothers, but it was more of an adoptive relationship than a brotherly relationship. It's not like the re relationship between America and Canada, or Romano and Italy, or even Prussia and Germany, even though some would debate on how Prussia and Germany's relationship is. But as you can see further down the line, um, England burnt the food again, Fran France is so much better, America sees England, England just gives him that look, and America's happy, and he's like, it's delicious. And as you can see, England is taking care of America, just kind of bugging him, and America's just like, drop dead. And then you can see more of England being kind of the father figure to America in these comics. Um, Obviously, England's taking on the big responsibility, and it's more, it's kind of like if, 
uh, what was that? Great Expectations. In the book Great Expectations, Pip's parents died, and he was very young, and his sister was a little bit older, so his sister took care of him, and it felt, it didn't, f when I was reading it, it didn't feel like a sister-brother relationship, it was more like a guardian, a, a mentor relationship to the child, which is kind of how I see this England and America relationship. England wasn't really the big brother to America, even though it, that's how it's portrayed in canon. He was more like a fatherly mentor type of relationship, and one can even go so far as to say an adoptive relationship, which I, I, I dig it. So, Confirmed England is America's father or mentor in the way of a guardian. Next is determining how England is related to Canada. Now, I had a bunch of other comics, but I thought these three, the, the third ones on the next slide, were the best. So, Canada's in the woods, kind of like how England found America. And then England is like, ah, so you're this place. Ah, so you're this place's... I don't know. From now on, I'll be your family, okay? And then Canada's like, oh, family, family, yes, I'll be the best family ever. And then we have um, Canada being like, I'll do my best, and England's just like, alright. So this shows that England also kind of did... There's not as much shown in canon for how England treated Canada as much as it's shown how England treated America. I don't know why. I think because the rivalry between America and England is just a little bit more interesting than the one between Canada and England. But, um, so yes, this confirms that, um, the relationships are both confirmed for England being America's adoptive brotherly parent figure and England being Canada's adoptively brotherly parent figure. Now, there wasn't as much to show for the England and Canada relationship as much as there was for America. I'm sorry, but it was shown that they are a family, and it's shown they act as a family. Um, there was one comic, uh, I don't think I included it in this video, but it was like, I really wish America would come back to us, and Canada was like, oh, I, I know a way to get them back, don't worry. What he did was he taped something to a sign, it said, there's food inside, and one of the generals had to stop America. So that just shows that, that family relationship bond between them. And I feel like that's enough to confirm and justify the parent, the parentage relationship to America and Canada. And America and Canada being brothers, they would, that's their mentor together. So, yeah. So, so far we have Ace. We have America, Canada, and England. However, Face also has an F for France. So we need to determine the parentage for France and America. Now, as we started with England and America, because I felt it was easier to determine, we're going to start with Fran France and Canada, because that one was easier to determine for me on where the parentage fell. So, and some of these comics have stuff blocked out in them because they had curse words in them. Um, I think it was only in that one where you see the black lines, so those black lines are just blocking out curse words, nothing else. Um, so as you can see in this first comic, it shows, um, England got Canada mixed up with America, and then France says in this tiny little box, it can't be helped, he's quite unremarkable, except for my silky French hair, and that's said by France. And it's shown in the next comic as well, could this hair be inherited from France, and you can see France going, ha 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 there and you can see the arrows pointing to where the hair is curly and as you can and it kind of shows France's curliness and Canada's curliness and I felt like this was a good example of French inheritance into the Canadian provinces and then you can see in this last comic it's something about the Canadian national anthem and it being split between um, English and English and French and then Canada wakes up and he's like, ah, anything but Montreal. Thank God it was just a dream. So how else would you get uh, f the split in language between f English and French unless you had some French influence? So I feel like this is enough to show that France had some influence, some dunking in there of his influence on Canada and was kind of a father, well, can't really say a father figure, but there was that influence, there was that slightly mentoring how else are you going to get the language in there because like finland discovered um america and canada as well but you don't see any of that in their personality all you see but because france was such a big influence it had the language in the 
the kind of inheritance of looks on him. Now, determining France being for America was a lot harder, and it's more indirect evidence than direct evidence, because I couldn't find anything that directly linked America and France and its own little thing. So, I'm showing two comics again, and then one other one that I really like. Um, so, again, America's like, the food is burnt, French is so much better at cooking. And how else would you know of France's cooking style unless he was there with you? Do you see where I'm going with this? So, France had some influence on America with his taste buds. But, and America remembers France being there, so France could have been something... It's kind of like when... And this kind of goes into the end of the theory. When two parents separate, you, like, one, like, maybe one weekend you're with the parent that can't cook. And you're just thinking to yourself, ah, mom cooks so much better than dad. But because you love dad, you still say it's good. And as you can see in the second comic, um, you, it said, I kicked France out to become this boy's big brother so again there's some of that french influence in there as england had to kick him out so he was there at one point and then the last comic is probably as direct evidence as i could get why is asking how come these guys don't inherit these things of england's it's not fair and then france is like well it I wonder if it couldn't be thanks to Big Brother's Trebian influence. And as you can see, it's America, Canada, and Seychelles, because Seychelles also doesn't have the bushy eyebrows. Anything that was owned by England has the bushy eyebrows. This is seen by everyone on the continent of Australia and in that Oceania area, and Hong Kong as well. He has the bushy eyebrows, and this is speculated to be a curse that England has, but it's Evidence enough to show that France had some mentoring-ish influence on America, though not as heavily as Canada, and I guess that's because America gained its independence a lot quicker and it grew up a lot faster than Canada did, at least in my mind. That's why it's like this and why there's not that much directly linking, because it was the relationship between America and England was a lot more hostile than the relationship between America and France. So, in determining the relationships of parentage to France, I say it's a, it's a good go-ahead to say that Canada is... There's enough evidence to support the influence and mentoring of France on both Canada and America, mostly due, again, to that eyebrows thing and then the parent thing with the food and the cooking of Canada. His language, his hair, obviously, that had to come from France. You're not going to get that type of stuff anywhere else unless you get it from the source, which is France, because obviously no one in England spoke French. At least, as to the extent that Canada seems to do, he'd have to get it from France. So... We've determined the brotherhood. Whoopsies, wrong side. So we've determined the brotherhood and the parentage. It's an okay to say that France parented Canada and America to an extent, and England did the rest of the parenting for Canada and America, and it's already determined that they're brothers. That's a good go-ahead. But there's one more thing that needs to be discussed for face to fully come full circle, like a nice big round face, a baby face. We'd have to determine the marriage. For Face to be a family, there has to be a marriage. So determining the relations of the marriage of France to England, and boy, do we know how that turned out. So France was in a bit of a, um, a crisis with money or something, and he asked England to marry him. And England was like, are you insane? You realize it's not April Fool's Day. And then um, England was like, are you so broke you can't even afford a calendar? And France was like, it's it's... If it's just a calendar, maybe I... I can't read that other part, but, um, he slaps down a marriage license, and he's like, sign, it's just a calendar. England's like, no, stop it. And then England rips up the thing, and France is just like, why do you want me to die? England's just like, figure out another way. I don't want to help you. And I tried to look up alliances. Now, marriage in Italia... It's very weird. We've seen multiple different instances of marriages, but when a marriage does occur in Hitalia, it seems either the countries themselves get married or the rulers of the countries get married, as seen with Poland and Lithuania and with Austria and Hungary. But actual marriages took place there. It wasn't just <laughs> the two countries. An alliance and a marriage are very 
two different things. And it's... Th th this just didn't work out. So it's sad to say that France and England did not marry as... So face can't come full circle in that regard, uh, but it's still safe enough to say that AC, they are brothers, and F parented A and C, and E parented A and C. So we have face that way. So in the way I said before, it's kind of like a joint custody that at one point these two things intersected for them to have face. So, um... I found some dates. Um, I didn't find dates, I researched dates. And um, I tried to determine when England had ownership of America and Canada and when Fran France had ownership of America and Canada to show that overlapping. And I liked the pictures I found, I didn't intend for them to be in the same outfits, but I liked how it worked out. Anyways, so England, so I went when the first colony or area was claimed for that country. So in America, in 1607, Jamestown was established, and in 1776, we declared our independence, despite the, the Revolutionary War not ending till about five years later. We had our independence before then. Don't, don't even at me. And then Canada, I believe England got Newfoundland or something in 1610 or something was claimed for England in 1610 and then 1876 um, Canada became a sovereign nation and 1682 was when France claimed some type of river or land in the Americans and I said that France ownership in the Americas ended when we did the Louisiana Purchase that completely got France out of America or at least the land that America is on and then France had Canada in 1534 with the conquering of the St. Lawrence, St. Champlain, something like that. And then the British drove um, the French out of Quebec in 1763. Now, I'm very confident in my dates for America. My dates for Canada might be a little wrong. So if you're from Canada and these dates aren't as accurate as possible, please do feel free to correct me in the comments. But I feel like face and its full force actually occurred between the years of 1682 to 1763. Because that is, if I'm not mistaken, that is when France and England both owned parts of America in Canada. And as I'm looking at it now, that is, I have it written down on a sheet of paper, but I'm just making sure that yes, this is when this happened. Because the earliest date of America being owned by um, both France and England um, is 1682, and both of the dates for when, when Canada was no longer invaded with England that was sooner than the American independence so between 1682 and 1763 face was canon because America and Canada were both owned by England and France and in what I assume is a joint custody situation now one would argue well the French and Indian War ended French ownership in the American land so face is actually a lot sooner um, ended a lot sooner than 1763 and again I feel like since France did have the that land in the Louisiana purchase that is when French French ownership technically ended but obviously this um, this date is as accurate as possible so between those times is when face was canon because there was that joint custody of England had both America and Canada and France had both America and Canada and it was just their parents that like one parent was here the other parent was here so face isn't the happy family of a couple living together with their children it's more like a couple separated or a couple, they had the kids and they weren't necessarily together, but the kids still find themselves in one parent and the other parent. So, our ending question is, is face canon? I say it is in this joint custody situation between the years of 1682 and 1763. Now, if you want to argue with me about the dates or say it's sooner or later than whatever, um, please just 
present evidence. I'm all for your own thoughts and theories on this, and tell me if you thought I explained it well enough, because this is the first theory I've done in forever that I actually feel super confident about. So, um, that was it for this video, I guess. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I, I had so much fun researching this. You don't even know, man. Just so much fun. Um, and tell me your thoughts on this. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you have anything else to add to the table? Do you have any comics that show France and America being buddies? Because I would love to see those and add to the evidence pile and have more direct evidence for that. But anyways, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more anime and otaku related content. Ciao, chicos!